So next up we're going to take a look at um, forms that have been completed by hand. Um, in this case we have a dental enrollment form that's been completed by hand. It just collects basic information about the enrollee as well as what kind of program that they're, they're interested in. <clears throat> now it should be noted that we've got a couple of different ways that we're providing this information to the system. Um, this particular case it's, it's, it's handwriting. Uh, in other instances, we actually have machine printed um, forms as well. Um, the system generally does perfectly with machine printed forms, um, but we will see what it does when we, we um, tell it to stop on specific fields. But first, let's take a look at the handwritten form. The system's only going to present us with exceptions um, or questions that the system had when it, when it comes to interpreting um, <coughs> the fields. So any fields that have been perfectly captured, the system will not bring before an evaluator uh, or a verifier unless there's some sort of business requirement that um, tells the system to, to show it to a user. So in this case, um, it wasn't sure about the name. However, on the social security number, we have it marked as always review, so it's always going to show up before a data capture. And the system... Um, interpreted it perfectly. We just wanted to bring it before a user for verification. We have a few other fields that require attention. But for the most part, they've been picked up. In this case, we have um, at the character level, the system has a question on the O in Fulton County. Everything was pulled in perfectly. It just wasn't quite sure about this, this O. Um, for the capture to um, accept it, we simply um, hit enter and go on to the next field. And complete the form. And at this point, the user is prompted to save corrections to a file. And um, he or she, she can do that. If there's any mistakes that have been made, um, select and cancel will allow the user to make those corrections. Otherwise, we simply finish the form. Next, we're going to take a look at the machine printed form. Uh, systems generally do very well with these since it's um, typewritten and um, there's usually very little question as to um, the neatness of handwriting that's involved. In this case, our example, um, we the data would go through 100% without verification, but we want the system to stop on certain fields that um, maybe we just need to make extra sure that they're correct. Um, so in this case, when I pull up the, the form, notice that the first thing that it drives me to is the social security number. Um, previously, when we filled out the, the handwritten form, we were, we were driven to the name field and then we went to some of the others that the system had questions about. Uh, in this case, we go straight to the social security number because this field has a flag on it that indicates that it um, should always be reviewed by a data capturer. Once the user sees that it's correct or makes corrections if need be, we can simply go to the next field. In this case, we um, do have a best guess character, so the system feels that it looks like an E. We think it's an E, uh, but it just wants to confirm with the user. And then we save the form to go on to the next one.